We are headed to Jungle Gems International Market, and it is in, is it called Fairfield? Uh, this is Eastgate. We're going to Eastgate. Yeah, that's the, I don't know what town there is. Have we only been to Eastgate one time? No. Or have we been there twice? Months. Twice? So we've been, they have two locations in Ohio of Jungle Gems. They're both in the Cincinnati area. And one's basically on one end of town and one's on another end of town. So we have found that we like the drive to the Eastgate location better than the drive to the Fairfield location. I think that's what it's called. I personally like the Fairfield store more but I'm willing to give that up for the drive to the East Gate. So that's, that's just how I feel about it. Um, so this is what the road, I wanted to show you a video now because this is what the road looks like right now. And uh, we're, uh, we're on the part of the interstate we're like between Winchester and Lexington. So we're just now starting out. Um, but it, it's nice and clear. It is uh, four minutes till eight in the morning. 36 degrees. 36 degrees outside. Yeah, Kevin uh, said, we always, why do we always go when it's cold? And uh, he's right. We always come to Jungle Gems. It's always cold outside. Well, we, um, normally we would have to stop at Meyer to get dry ice, but we did our uh, shopping yesterday and we bought a big hunk of dry ice. When we took it home last night, we kept it in the cooler and we also had an additional, just a bag of uh, just ice uh, pieces. Crushed ice, crushed, crushed ice. And uh, so we got up this morning hoping that we would not have to stop at Meyer, that the dry ice would still be good. And it was. It, we still have a really good chunk of dry ice in our cooler. So we've got the dry ice and we've got a bag of ice. And uh, so that's good because we have, um, it seems like the last time we went to Jungle Gems, we tried to stop at Meyer and get dry ice and it was completely empty. We couldn't get any. So we went to, we stopped at a Meyer that's close to Jungle Gems and they don't sell dry, or, or they were out too. They were out too, that's what it was. They were out too. Um, but it's funny, some locations sell it and some locations don't. So um, I'm glad that we have it today in case we find any uh, ice cream or uh, pizzas or anything for Kevin to try on his Lunchtime Review channel. Too bad to drive, honestly. No, it wasn't at all. Now going home will probably be a different story, but that wasn't bad at all. No, Tammy's driving, so there's a lot of jerking. <laughs> Look at this car up here. I got this last time we came. I think this is cool. Highway 55 Burgers, Shakes, and Fries. Oh, it's available. So it's not even open anymore. Permanently closed. Yep, it's closed. And do you see the cinema over here? And the store. Yep. So Jungle Gym started out as a roadside produce stand and they slowly grew into what they are today. They have two locations. One is in Fairfield, which is on Dixie Highway in Fairfield, Ohio. And then they have another location in Eastgate. That is the location where we are at today. Um, 
is the Eastgate. It's Eastgate South Drive in Cincinnati, Ohio. These two stores combined have more than 500,000 square feet. Uh, They have hundreds of thousands of products and over 70 countries are represented in these two stores. So we're in Jungle Gems and Kevin pointed out these socks. They have icebreakers, whoppers, 7-Up, these just say peace, love. This payday, payday candy bar. Whoever floats your boat. Virgo, who's the boss? They have who's Tony Danza on us socks. Almond Joy, the Jeffersons, Ruffles. The, the ones Godfather. That the, the Godfather. <laughs> oh, that those are cool. The Godfather. Different strokes. Different yeah. strokes. And then down at the bottom, they have um, Sanford and Son and Red Hots. What's on the other side? Oh, uh, the signs. Oh. So, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> so, we always come and look, uh, look at the toys first. And then we work our way around the store. But Kevin and I both like, uh, like to see the, the toys they have. And they have games and puzzles and stuff like that here. See puzzles and stuff here that you don't see anywhere. Look, there's a Buckeye, Ohio State Buckeyes puzzle. So I'm going to be doing a very long voiceover for you here. Uh, This was cool. Uh, One of the first things that I noticed in the game section was they had the first edition life game. Um, It was from 1960, it said, and it was a huge box. I, I did not realize that game boxes were that big like you would be hard pressed these days to find a shelf that that fit on because it was so big Uh, but it was uh i'm having to do a voiceover because at the time the first song we got to listen to was adele someone like you was playing and uh, then uh as adele finished up they started playing uh december by collective soul which i loved but unfortunately if i could leave it in the video i would because who doesn't like that but i can't um so uh we were just having a time we were singing we were happy to be here we were looking at the games um these uh a lot of these things are things that you see at every store at at um walmart and target places like that but they do have some very unique toys what i did not realize at the time when we were in the section i thought oh we're seeing all the the toys and really yes these are toys but then um they had a whole other section of collectibles and that is a whole different genre of stuff i mean um and i talk about it later on in the video uh, but it's just completely, uh, completely different section from the stuff that you're seeing here. Although these bobblehead things could have been put, I think those were bobbleheads. Those could have been put in the collectible section too. Um, so here I'm just trying to, to pass by this stuff quickly. Honestly, when we first get here and we're looking at these toys, I'm enjoying it. I, I'm, I'm genuinely enjoying every second of it. But I'm also so very, very excited to get to the food. You wouldn't believe it. I asked Kevin, I said, what is this? It looked like ketchup. And he's like, oh, that's prank ketchup. It's supposed to look like it's it's open and it's on the floor and like it's it's coming out of the package. So um, they uh, they have a lot of prank stuff like that. And then they had these Minecraft uh, coloring books. They had two different ones here. They were nice. Uh, Kevin thought they were appealing too because, you know, Minecraft stuff is pretty blocky and he thought they would be easy to color. But we honestly, we didn't get any, uh, we didn't get any toys. Sometimes we've gotten like a little stocking stuffer here or there. Uh, In this section, we did not get anything like that. Every single thing we bought on this trip was food. So we're going on around the corner here and i'm just trying to oh i I spotted this man holding these weights and i didn't remember seeing him on the first time i do think we did see him the first time but even walking through the store 
uh, now that I'm looking at him, I don't remember seeing him when we were walking around. But honestly, there's so much going on. There's so much uh, to look at. And the music, uh, they play a lot of really good music while you're walking around that makes you want to shop. There was one song um, they played uh, while we were in here. I wanted to get this. I was totally going to get this from me and give that to her for Christmas. It didn't have a price on it. So, like, everything had a price in here. This one thing that I wanted to get, it just was not meant to be because it did not have a price on it. So, I put it back. Um, but they did play one song while we were in this area. It uh, I had to look it up because I had no idea the name of it or who sang it or anything. I just know that I felt like pulling my hair out. It was called Don't You Want to Stay Here a Little While. And it's Jason Aldean and Kelly Clarkson. And I'm not a, it's more like a, it sounded more country to me. They they probably play it on the regular radio stations, but I did, I just did not care for it. And it, the music was just so loud in this area that it was like, I, I've got to get out of here. These, I love these little world smallest. I could absolutely have a whole collection of these. I, I don't need them. Absolutely do not need them. But I think they're the coolest things ever. And they I've seen these in other stores as well. I've seen them. I want to say Five Below is where I last saw them. But now Five Below doesn't have near the collection. I thought that was cute. Uh, Richard Simmons. Uh, Five Below doesn't have like near the collection that Jungle Gems International Market has. Uh, they just had tons to choose from. And I have, uh, I've looked these up on Amazon before. And they do sell these on amazon um i'm thinking they're like ten dollars a piece what i was specifically looking for was the barbie a-frame so i uh, bought the i had the a-frame when i was growing up it's a yellow a-frame it has a red roof and i bought that for amelia and uh, outfitted it with all the the furniture and all that stuff and i saw it on our I think our very first trip to Jungle Gems, it was the, um, the the Fairfield location. And I regretted not getting it. And ever since then, I've been looking for it, and I've never seen it again. So that's what I was looking for. These are Ravensburger puzzles. Ashley likes Ravensburger puzzles, but these were not near big enough for her. They did have a castle down here that looked pretty cool, but it was like one of those... I want to say like 3D or something like that. And I don't think she would have enjoyed uh, doing that. Uh, but she she does like, she likes, I don't know, like the 3,000 piece or something, Ravensburger puzzles. Kevin thought it was cool that they had these little golden books and that they had the classic edition of Dumbo, little golden book. And so now they have all these stuffed animals. And then we're going to go around the corner here. Oh, I saw these uh, these furry bones. I think that's what they're called, furry bones. I have a, a little collection of these uh, from Epcot in Japan in, at Walt Disney World in Florida. And I thought that was cool. And then Kevin saw these uh, McDonald's characters. And I took a picture of him and I posted it um, to my YouTube member page. So my members got to see that. And then I about died when I saw this. Ashley absolutely loves, our daughter Ashley loves, the Little Shop of Horrors and Audrey. This Audrey was $269, but it was really cool. And then Kevin was saying, Uncle Wiggly, he said, didn't you have the Uncle Wiggly game? I did. I had the Uncle Wiggly game. Mine had a orange border around it. Mine was from 1974. And so... Um, I would not want the Uncle Wiggly game they had here because it's just, it's a more modern version. It's a lot smaller. The board's smaller. Um, I liked the 1974 edition. And then, then we were just looking at Monopoly games. They had a big Candyland game down there, um, which I talked about Candyland in, uh, for a long time in last week's vlog. And then look at all the stuffed animals. They they just had something for everybody. I had to straighten him up. Jack Skellington. Of course, when I did that, I knocked over something else. Kevin said, did you know Ty made shoes? So these are like Ty Beanie Babies, and they just put the heads of them on shoes, which is a good idea. 
They could probably make those into a bunch of different things. And then uh, we're getting down here where they have like these little plague doctors. They have Disney, uh, Disney stuff. They had Mickey. They have uh, these plague doctors. I think they're absolutely cute. Those were house shoes. Those were plague doctor house shoes. And they had different versions of those. And then they had like a little man and a little woman. <laughs> Kevin thought that was cute. Yeah, look at them. They're just so adorable. Like you could have a whole collection of those and you wouldn't have to leave them out all the time. Kevin thought that was cute, that cauldron. You could just bring them out like if you want, like I would totally leave them out all the time. But you could just leave them out for Halloween if you wanted to. You wouldn't have to have to leave them out year round if you didn't want to. But then I told Kevin at this point, I was telling him, I spotted some giant uh, rubber ducks. There's an overview of the place. Look at these giant rubber ducks. And somewhere in there, he said, I saw a whole section of, of rubber ducks. Well, I must have just missed those looking at something else because I didn't see the section. There's Deadpool down there. These were... Uh, I'm surprised that kids would want uh, would want the Deadpool, but I guess kids watch that movie. I watched it one time. I didn't care for it. I didn't get the humor of it at all. Um, and then we're gonna walk back up to front. We're gonna Kevin, of course, has to touch all of these things that you squeeze. And there's more. One more look at the stuffed animals. And then I wanted to look around up here because they have lots of cards. And this is the section last time we came, which was a year ago, where Kevin saw a lot of the Metal Earth stuff. So he likes to put together the Metal Earth models. Well, later on, you will not see in this video because I didn't get to film, which we'll talk about that. Uh, I'll talk about that later. But um, they had moved all the Metal Earth uh, stuff to the collectible section. So they still do have... A lot of metal earth but they're just not in the toy section anymore and i told kevin i said maybe they're on this and he's like no they're not on there um so then i'm just trying to show you there's so much to to look at it's almost like overload and then this uh volkswagen i thought that was really cool and then you've got the bathrooms over here they have the porta potty doors and the Haribo bear, I thought that was pretty cool. So we're just walking down the Asian section right now. It starts way down here and you get all kinds of sauces, the yum yum so sauce and the um, all kinds of sauces. And then they have the breadcrumbs and here's more like um, Szechuan spicy sauce, more yum yum sauce. They have lots of uh, different brands. And then over here you get rice. Yeah, there's tons and tons of rice. I guess if you owned a restaurant, you would need all that. Or you eat rice with every meal. Or you eat rice with every meal, yeah. So this was a Ferrari rickshaw, and I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, during this section, uh, we were listening to Katy Perry sing California Girls. And then right after that, uh, Champagne Supernova came on by o Oasis. Uh, that's what was playing um, in this section right here. But I want you to look at all the, uh, all this uh, that they have. It, it, this tea, you're going to be absolutely amazed when I show you the tea. They had a whole row of just tea. Like, if you tried all the different flavors of tea and all the different brands it would take you look at all this it would take you years years to go through all of those there's just there's no way i've actually seen people that have drawers full of tea like different kinds of tea in their house and i'm thinking how can you how do you ever drink all that um how do you ever get to all the tea and then we were looking, this is the health and beauty section in this part. And we were enjoying that. And then we go on up and they have all these little dishes. So there is a, uh, uh, there's a Japanese store in a grocery store in Lexington. And 
whenever we go in there, they have all these little dishes. And and I'm sure they every single thing has a certain purpose. Of course, we would not know what the purpose was, but we just think they're cute little dishes. But they each have papers. Do you see that? That is Mr. Men, Little Miss papers that they have. And we don't know who put those in between the dishes. Like, did they come shipped like that from Japan? Or did Jungle Gems? I wouldn't think Jungle Gems would have had those papers on hand. Uh, but it makes me wonder. I did not know that Mr. Men and Little Miss would have been popular in Japan. And I thought these were neat, these lanterns. And then Kevin got this fan, and I said, turn it around so I can see what it looks like. <laughs> so so he was fanning himself. But I was saying, if you were going to have a party, like a themed party, this would be the neatest place to come for our, all of your uh, party needs. And now I'm just showing you the tea again, because I can't believe, I keep glancing over at the tea, and I can't believe that even all the way down here, um, there's... There's just more and more tea. So this is like uh, the Hawaiian section. Yeah, it's uh, this is the Hawaiian section. And so uh, they have things that we didn't even see in Hawaii, I feel like. <laughs> now, now this brand we did, the Mauna Loa. We did, we went to grocery stores, yeah. Hawaiian Sun, we did Hawaiian. see Hawaiian Sun. They have Hula Girl Sugar. They have, uh, they have a lot of, remember he said they had a lot of uh, beans, people would trace beans. Yes. So uh, next, uh, we're, we're in Taiwan. We're in Taiwan right now, and we're gonna see their uh, snack cakes and chips. Uh, they actually have, like I said, they have 70 countries represented. They have uh, African, Middle Eastern, uh, they have Eastern European and European. They have a Hispanic section. They have an Indian section, an Asian section. It uh, in in these sections, it seems like they they just have so many countries represented in each one of these sections. So it's hard to see it all in one day. That's for sure. This looks like the Lay's brand, though. Or the Walker's version, Margarita. Does it say it on there? PepsiCo. Yeah, so that's, look, that, that looks like the Frito-Lay. Oh, but, it's chicken. Ah, we, uh, we've had some chicken uh, chips. This is Columbia. It's <laughs> a brick, whatever it is. What if you melt that? And over here is uh, Central America. Pure brown sugar. Oh, it looks good. Yeah. Guava paste. Yeah. That kind of is pure sugar. Guava yeah, paste. we've had that stuff. I love it. Love it. So this was the uh, Hispanic foods. It was Puerto Rico. Uh, they had uh, some of the uh, Bimbo Bakery stuff over here, which we uh, we see some of the stuff, that Bimbo brand, we see stuff by Bimbo brand in Walmart. Yeah, and this is Nabisco. That, that's their uh, sandwich cookies. Uh, they have, um, it's amazing everything that they offer here. They have international produce. They have an olive pit full of olives from around the globe that you could try. They have a huge meat section, seafood section. You're going to see the seafood section later on. It's, it's massive. Their bakery is incredible. They have a cheese shop. And then they have a really great deli as well. This is Spain down here. Yeah, this is And then this is like Holland. See, the difference in this store and the other location is the other location has like little nooks that you walk for, for so, that you walk into. And so like this one, it's just all out like in rows. And a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people probably do like this lot because you can have a bunch of people in this row at one time. Well, the nooks are only good, only they have like three or four rows. Yeah. For like Sweden. We've reviewed those chips. 
So here I spotted some that said Patrick, and I was like, oh, Patrick, just because it reminded me of SpongeBob. <laughs> there was no other reason to point to those rather than I knew the name Patrick. Um, but I'm just showing you the candies. Kevin found some candy bars here. We've actually reviewed some of these candy bars on the channel, and uh, so that was cool. He actually pointed out all kinds of things during this whole trip. And it was like, yep, we've reviewed that. We've reviewed that. Here's the dime, which Golden we love. Golden Alps. I don't think that we've never had the candy bar called Golden Alps. So I did not end up getting the Golden Alps. I, I have to be really particular, honestly, about what I buy because I want to get views on it. And uh, if you don't get views on the stuff, if people are interested, it doesn't do any good. Gosh, look at all the licorice. Oh my gosh. Kevin, this is a whole section of stuff you wouldn't want. Licorice. He went, ugh. I don't know if you heard, I heard that or not, but he went, ugh. Um, yes, I recognize the, um, I think it's in a different package. I recognize those because they look like donuts. Lemon, pumpkin spice, snickerdoodle. I think we've had every one of those except yeah. for that snickerdoodle that those I've whippets are good. Remember those whippets? Yeah. Oh, they're wonderful. Do you want to get some while we're here? They also have a cooking school. They have specialty sodas, which you'll see later on. Toys and collectibles I showed you. They have a coffee bar, a honey section candy section a lot of these you're gonna see they have a cookware section which we did not show at all during this trip we didn't even walk into the cookware section because i knew that i wasn't gonna buy any cookware and so we didn't even walk in that section uh, they have a hot sauce section uh, they have a kombucha bar herbal supplements sports nutrition and natural uh, health and beauty products they have natural foods. They have a beer and wine department. They also have a pint night, a tasting uh, bar. Our candy bars. Tablet, gourmet bar. These are made in France. They're uh, six, six dollars. So we did not get those. We did not get any of those uh, chocolate bars either because we have chocolate bars just like that that look like um, they're just they they poured the chocolate mold in and then they put different stuff in it and so we didn't get any of those now we did uh, we did get these cookies that kevin's looking at here if you um uh, ch if check out the channel the hall the jungle gems international market hall will have come out right before this vlog so um i think it's like a 15 minute video if you want to see every single thing we bought then um then you can watch that haul uh, because it might surprise you that we in, we looked at a lot of stuff but then you know i look it up on the channel and I'll, i it takes us longer to shop than it does most people because i'm looking stuff up if i don't remember it right away i have to look it up to see if we've tried it before and if we have we just have to move on so look at all the boscos we do not get all these where we I are we i think we get chocolate but they have coffee they have chocolate vanilla strawberry sea salt right next to the sardines yeah next next to sardines for sure look at all the candles they have all these like religious candles so these uh these candles i've always thought those were cool candles and I love looking at the different uh, cleaning products and stuff like that from other countries. Uh, once we get down here to this freezer section, Kevin was just amazed by how many Goya products there are. There's tons of Goya products. And he noticed over there in the freezer uh, some churros. And I said, oh, yeah, we've actually reviewed those. We have a Mexican, uh, there's a Mexican uh, grocery store in Lexington and we love going in there it's it's a happy store it's really festive and it's colorful and uh, we have found a lot of uh, cool foods to try and uh, drinks and stuff like that in there I, I really enjoy going in there 
Uh, but I was telling you earlier that they have uh, they have the pint night, they have a tasting bar, they also stock home brewing supplies. So if you want to um, make your own brew at your house, uh, then you can uh, go in here and buy all the supplies. Look at all that Biscoff stuff they have. Of course, we can get all of that Biscoff, thankfully. Uh, we have uh, a lot, uh, most of that Biscoff stuff uh, is available everywhere. And then Kevin pointed out the Dr. Oatker that uh, we have tried a bunch of Dr. Oatker on the channel, and it's really, uh, really good quality foods. Um, but they uh, they had a lot of Milka, but I tell you what, World Market has really stepped up their game, and I think World Market has as much, if not more, Milka, because they were really low on their stock of Milka when we went in. Uh, World Market has, uh, I think, more Milka, honestly, products than Jungle Gems does at this time. So they do have these Easter eggs. I don't know why they're not at the front door. They're back here on a, um, on a shelf. Uh, they've got roses, heroes. So they have a huge Cadbury uh, Dairy Milk Bar. I think this is the biggest dairy milk bark I've seen. It is $11.99, but now we're getting over to the, br the br oh, they have more here. They have the Smarties Incredible Egg. They have, a, yeah, a Kit Kat, Rolo, Yorkie. Arrow? Yeah, Arrow Peppermint. Ooh, Ooh a Caramel Cookie Collision. Raisin and Biscuit. Those are $26 a piece. They have a milk and white. They also have Thornton's eggs. They have Fox's biscuit collection. They have Mr. Kipling's Battenbergs, which I dearly love and could eat a whole box. Believe it or not, we, uh, even though we saw all of those Easter eggs and they're really cool, a lot of those large Easter eggs, that like the extra large Easter eggs, were like $25 a piece. I did find these Maltesers, these white Maltesers, and I did get a bag. So I got a bag of those, and I bought a regular Malteser uh, Easter Bunny to compare it to because I haven't had one in a while. And let's face it, um, you don't have to ask me twice to eat Maltesers. Kevin likes Whoppers more than Maltesers. I prefer Maltesers uh, and we did a video uh, we compared uh, the two uh, years ago and that's how it came out Kevin just Kevin's a Whoppers fan and I am a Malteser fan uh, but I think we actually we got very little out of the British section but those Easter eggs they were just too expensive uh, for us to buy they have the Mr. Kipling over here they do have the uh, Bakewells the they also have the Eccles cakes, which I love. I tried to hold the camera in this section for a second, just so I could give you a good view of the British they foods. They have the Bird's Custard. They have HP sauce. They have a fruity HP sauce. Somebody will have to tell me. Yeah, Walker's Men's Spice. Somebody will have to tell me what the fruity HP sauce. I'm pretty sure we've had most of these uh, candy bars, and so I didn't pick any of these up. And then we're on to something else. This is what they have from Australia. And they, they have the hats, of course, that say Australia. This section was so busy. It uh, This British aisle in general, it's like we went down the, the British food, and of course you have the Australian right here, but it was so busy that it was it was really hard to film anything. So this is the uh, Mexican section. And if there's a lot of sections that I don't show you, it's because there's a lot of people. Like in the British section, I showed you what I could, but then it was like everybody in the store came to the British section at one time. So I, I, it, it really, it felt that way. And so it felt like I couldn't show you. Um, it's a popular aisle. It's a popular aisle. They can, yeah. We can read that. So this was a cool display. Um, I'm going to show you in a second. It had uh, suckers on it. And Kevin, Kevin's pointing at it because he's like, somebody actually stole a sucker out of there. Somebody pulled a sucker. Uh, but I thought it was a cute little display because it had a sucker at the top. 
And then uh, we saw these, they were calling these sweatshirts, but really uh, they're ponchos on one side, but then on the other side, there was a sweatshirt. There, there were a couple of sweatshirts there. And then here's all of their hot sauces, which are on three of these. So right now we're listening to uh, Truly, Madly, Deeply by Savage Garden. And then uh, they started playing Rumor Has It by Adele. And so, I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed the music uh, the majority of the time we were in here, just because it was stuff that I was very familiar with. And in so, like, I've complained about the music in Walmart lately. First of all, there's there's a difference, because in Walmart recently, it's been so loud that you couldn't even talk and that's throughout the entire store in jungle gyms it was only in certain parts that were more loud than other parts so like when we were looking at those toys earlier it was pretty loud and the ceiling is lower there too in that section and so i think that makes it seem even louder i'm looking at the toe of satan um <laughs> this is a uh, hot stuff these are challenges kevin was like looking at these challenges here um but so there's a difference in like in walmart like the whole store being cranked up the whole time and also it's the type of music that they play so if you're really familiar with that type of music you probably enjoy it quite a bit in walmart recently they have been playing stuff that i'm not familiar with at all so it's like i don't know these songs and i'm not enjoying these songs in jungle gyms they were playing songs that i'm very familiar with that were like they're popular songs now but then also popular like let's say back in like 2010 around that time um some of this was behind this glass case something in this case said it was signed it was like do not sell this it's actually signed and i thought that was pretty cool that they they have it out on display the yeah, i was reading it right there i said you cannot buy that if you, even if you wanted to we about didn't even come in this section and then kevin said well let's just walk through because kevin and i we're really not uh, not into hot sauce we're not hot sauce people i uh, when i'm buying uh, like salsa or something like that i usually get like a medium uh, salsa and i don't even go for a hot uh, sauce uh, so that's that's just me but i was telling you during this section in particular i said i haven't been able to film very much like this section is much bigger than what you're seeing on this video uh, because i can't film anything there's so many people and i, I just i'm i don't want people to even realize that i am filming and so i try to turn the camera off or i'll i'll uh I'll just wait to film until everybody leaves an aisle and then I'll try to get it as quickly as I can and so a lot of times if you see like uh, the camera if you see me jerk or something like that um, yes I could be uh, more professional for sure but it's also because I'm just trying not to film people I was actually surprised these were over here in this section because these aren't hot sauces these are just um, uh, like apple walnut butters and their preserves and stuff like that they had a bunch of the terrapin ridge and then they even had the terrapin ridge um, on down here in these like squirt bottles that you'll see in just a second and i've never seen the terrapin ridge in the squirt bottles right right there right i'm pointing at them right now i've never seen those squirt bottles before but i was surprised that they put these things in this area because the whole area is kind of like on the outside of this area it says hot sauce that was hot peanut butter by the way that kevin just showed you hot peanut butter um but this whole that whole section was like labeled hot sauce and so if you didn't go over there then you would have missed all those apple butters and stuff like that this section is disgusting this is crickets and bugs and ants and stuff like that yes look at that in suckers 
And I just thought it was, yeah, crickets. Just a box of crickets. Just here, just eat these crickets. I think they probably sell a lot of these as like gag gifts or as stocking stuffers. I don't think, I mean, I wouldn't want to actually eat anything like that. And then uh, this is more uh, some of the Australian stuff. Uh, more of the Wiley Wallaby, which is sold here, but then they had some Australian stuff too. And then, of course, you have lots of American chocolates as well mixed in this section. Lots of candy bars. They've had a whole row of candy bars here, and I stopped filming because I wanted to look through them. We're still looking through them, but I just wanted to show you while I could, uh, while nobody's in this section for two seconds. Um, because there's a ton. Kevin found more That's bugs. Like Mexican spice, salt crickets. and vinegar. I would never try these. No. What no. giant water bugs? Those yeah. would be a cockroach. Right. Um, I no yeah, problems. I wouldn't care if somebody sent me those free. I would not try them. Earthworm jerky. Oh, You've seen June beetle fly around yeah, there. forget that. Silkworm pupae. Black ants. There is, this is for like truth or dare is what this is. A cricket bar. This is an apple cinnamon cricket bar. You know, um, we have not come to the time where it's time to do this. Yeah, we're not, it, we're not desperate. Something, I don't know. Black ants. Black oh, ants. Full of ants. Yeah, it's black full ants. of black ants. Disgusting. So they do have La Rosa's pasta, uh, pasta sauce, jungle gem sauce, and they have all these other sauces too. Italy in the Bronx. That sounds interesting. Italian gravy. Here's all the drink section that we'll be looking for through in just a few minutes. So this section, uh, Kevin said, uh, had made the comment, this section looks like uh, things that we had seen earlier. Like, he said they must have gotten a big supply of those violet crumbles because we saw those in a bunch of different places. And this was called a Wonder Bar. I don't remember if we've had that or not. But like I said earlier, I, you're spending so much money on this stuff and if people don't click on the video if they don't watch the video then i'm wasting my money i'm never going to get my money back uh, i was saying that those are actually um, uh, from cafe du monde that is in louisiana and we've had some of that stuff before and then they had a lot of drinks in this section too so it's like you have to go up and down every single aisle because if you don't you're gonna miss like you think they have this whole cola section and they do that section is is literally specialty colas but then if you want to see the the drinks from other countries you really have to go up and down each aisle or you're gonna miss it i think we've tried all the tour uh that doesn't look familiar alaska special edition made with alaska birch syrup we have not had that so kevin and i just got finished looking through the tortuga rum cakes okay so all of these syrups they have tons of syrups and flavorings that you can add to stuff they have all of these taranis and i'm so tempted to get they have a peanut butter a sugar-free peanut butter this whole section is like sugar-free they have lemon lime pineapple raspberry they have any flavor strawberry white chocolate oh my gosh sugar-free white chocolate watermelon um, but they have tons and tons of these these are all sugar-free as well and then look at these these are all the regular so you can tell the sugar-free are the blue labels and then the regular are the red labels but they have pumpkin pie pumpkin spice just classic root beer i mean oh my gosh just tons and then these are small bottles up here i don't know what these small bottles are like why would you get these like would you get these i guess just if you didn't want to buy a full bottle now if i saw a peanut butter in that i'd probably get it so this airplane is in the store let's show you how big the store is 
So we've come down the aisle with, uh, with this is regular coffees. And then this has the, um, it, there was some spam down there. We did the review on the maple spam. They do have the maple spam here. We've also been looking for the Prego mini meatballs, uh, mar uh, spaghetti sauce. They had that. Um, they have a pastas here. And then, oh, they have Panera bread coffee. Yeah, it's regular coffee, Panera bread coffee. Um, but then this is all the, uh, yeah, Cold Stone coffees, which we don't see in our area. And then these are uh, a bunch of different coffees. And here's more of those flavorings. This is the Da Vinci brand. So we just have lots and lots of seasonings on one side and then we have the baking stuff on the other side. So since this is like the American grocery section, we saw a lot of brands, um, the same brands, honestly, that we have here. Uh, I was really trying to look closely to see if I saw, you see I'm filming the floor now for a second because somebody was going by, um, but I was really looking closely to see if I saw some uh, brands that I didn't recognize and for the most part, it is stuff that we see all the time here. So you might not see all of these brands in Kroger or Walmart or Meyer or Target. However, some of these brands that people might be like, well, I live right where you live, Tammy, and I've never seen those brands. But you have to go in stores like um, there's a Good Foods Co-op uh, in Lexington there's a fresh market in Lexington. And so even though you don't see these brands in uh, like Kroger or somewhere, if you go in the co-op or go in the fresh market, you will see a lot of these brands in there. This whole aisle, well, that's granola down there, but then this whole side is cereal. All the way down there is cereal. This, I always think the cereal aisle, even when we go to Walmart, I always think the cereal aisle must be a, just an amazing aisle to people who live in other countries. Because I, I wouldn't think that any country would have as many cereals as we have here in the United States. It's just amazing. So they also have just regular, it's his new look. They, this is all the soups. They have tons and tons of soups. And then on the other side of the aisle are vegetables and tomatoes and stuff like that. And there are actually people do, here doing regular shopping. Look, there's a Fred Flintstone in his car up there. So now we're going to look at the tuna for a second. Kevin saw these, they were called tuna balls or something like that. It seems like for a while we were waiting to get these in our area and we never got them. Uh, then I saw these beet eggs and I thought, what in the world is a beet egg and then a jalapeno egg? Are those things that I would eat? I don't think so. No. So this section is all Ohio proud items. So they have like Skyline chili sauce. They have French, fr French's tartar sauce, which um, I forget that it's from Ohio. Best yeah, it's the best tartar sauce. If you've never had Frisch's tartar sauce with your fish, jar. it's oh, they yeah, they have a huge jar. Then it's wonderful. So they have a whole row of chips here, and we also went through a different row of chips. They also have um, all of these um, jams and jellies, uh, the Trappist brand, which I believe we've tried some. They also have a, a big Stonewall kitchen. This Stonewall kitchen is much, much cheaper than the last time we went in the fresh market. I didn't buy it because it was like nine dollars a jar. Um, this, yeah, this is seven fifty nine a jar. But I just want to show you, they did have a whole section of um, chips over there that I didn't, uh, I didn't record, um, I didn't film, and then they have all kinds of. Uh, of jams and jellies and stuff like that. 
So this is their seafood section. They have this. Yeah, they have this boat over here, and then this is all seafood, which Kevin and I don't get any seafood. Um, that kind of freaked me out. I came around the corner and I. Uh, looks like who? Oh. Um, so this is the seafood section, and uh, they have lots of shrimp. It says cooked shrimp, raw peeled shrimp. Then they have. Uh, oh, yeah, we get that brand. Yep. And then they have another boat over here, and then they have this up here that I showed you last time we came. But they have all kinds of seafood over here. Stuffed crabs, crab cakes. Look, is that real fish? Oh my gosh. It says, please ask for assistance. Trust me, I ain't gonna be touching it. Yeah, you don't have to worry about me touching anything. <laughs> so these are the lobster tanks. Look at the lobsters. So earlier I was telling you uh, they have like a healthy section uh, where they have like natural stuff and this is in that section. So I'm just trying to show you everything. I don't think we ended up buying anything in this section, which won't surprise anybody. I know somebody's probably laughing. Of course you didn't buy anything in that section, Tammy. I was looking for an Angie's Boom Chicka Pop. Uh, they have a Cinnabon flavor out right now, and I was looking for it. But And they had Angie's Boom Chicka Pop in this section, but they, they did not have that flavor. And I have not seen that flavor yet in our area, because um, I want to buy it when I see it. So this is all in their healthy, like gluten-free, and there's vegan, and... Uh, vegetarian there's there's all this whole section is really big and uh, this is all the cereals that they have uh, yes those are just bigger bars and we we've, we've never seen them in the big size bars yeah we've only they're really good they're really soft look at these element Chocolate peanut butter, dark chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and these are their healthy bars and stuff, cereal bars. Uh, yes, these uh, Sweet Heaven plant-based candy, vanilla strawberry, and chewy tropical. Um, and then they also have cocoa. I've never seen that brand anywhere. Sweet, sweet haven, not heaven, haven. Mm -hmm. um, I've also never seen these. Uh, those are in. We have yes, we've tried that. Um, I've also have not seen this brand. Baked cravings. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think we had those before and we hated them. But they have a whole a whole um, frozen section of just meat alternatives, um, all kinds of stuff over here that's uh, supposed to be healthier, gluten-free stuff. They have this big bee up here. Right outside the bakery. Right outside the honey. In the bakery. Right? In the bakery, yeah. The whole bakery is right here. Oh, we're going to the bakery? Yay, we're going to the bakery. Ooh. Look at Loft House. Loft House Mint. Have we ever had Mint Loft House? So look at these cream horns. These are humongous cream horns. So like, this is how big my hand is. Oh my gosh. That's my kind of That looks awesome. Yes, look how big these cookies are right here. These are made here. Um, this bakery, 
sandwiches. Yeah, they're whoopie pies. Oh my gosh. I wonder what those uh, those light ones are over there. Let's go see what those light ones are. Because those look... Uh... Oh, these are uh, snickerdoodle. Bacon brownie truffle cake. Maple bacon. I don't know, but wow. Birthday cake truffle cake. Cookie dough truffle, peanut butter truffle, cookies and cream. What's the rest of the Oh, wow. Which one would you try? They're $4 a piece? Yeah. Wow, that's expensive. $4 a piece? I'd probably try the maple brown. Yeah. Carrot cake. No, no. You guys need anything? We're just looking right now. Are here. they really four fifty a piece? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> one to make sure. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Macarons. Oh, look at that cheesecake cookie. Oh, cotton candy. Dark uh, orange, dark chocolate. They even have poppy seed, cherry chocolate, strawberry banana. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Chocolate overload. Mile high peanut butter. Those remind me of something you'd get it from the Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake on a stick. Oh, yeah. Apple pie. See, it's amazing that these are $4.49 for a whole slice. These are beautiful. Look, that's a cheeseburger. Cannoli cake, German chocolate. Oh, look at that. White chocolate raspberry tort. Ooh, they have killer brownies. I think we've had most of them. So those little dome-shaped cakes on top, we actually bought some of those at Critchfield Meat in Lexington, and we reviewed them on the channel. They uh, they were from a certain place. Uh, they had a name on them, and I would have put it on the video. It would definitely was not Jungle Gems. So I'm wondering if Jungle Gems actually makes those those cakes. This is all packaged stuff. I might look at these jars. Yeah, like. So normally when you see things this big, they're like dog toys or something. <laughs> These are actually gummies, gummy popsicles, gummy burger, gummy pickles, and apples, snakes. But so we're in the candy section, and this section is absolutely massive. Bubblegum Big Bear, right there. Um, Pez dispensers. If you've ever wanted to start a collection of Pez dispensers, they're a dollar ninety-nine each. And they have tons to choose from. Uh, this is the candy section. Let me just take you right here. Just candy, as far as your eye can see, is candy. This is all that toxic waste stuff. They, they have so much that like, it would take you, you could spend a whole day just going down through here and filming these because they have so many you if you wanted to you could make an entire video of just the candy section because it's that big there's that much candy uh, the jelly belly alone was just absolutely amazing and they have sugar free too if you need sugar free I haven't showed even half of the candy because there's just too many people it's very, very busy, yeah. What is uh, this brand? Oh, Happy Birthday, Hershey Kisses. This one is Rainbow Birthday. This is just labeled. Yeah, this is like, these are lifesavers because they've got little things. Ah, okay. Some of them say thanks. So while we're in the candy section, <laughs> I will also tell you uh, they have a uh cigar they have like specialty cigars that we never even saw though like we didn't go in that section because they have a liquor section they have the beer and wine but then they also have cigars and liquor 
And so, like I said, I, you could spend days. Like if you travel to Ohio and you got a hotel room for the night, if you really, really, really wanted to go to every part of the store, or you could just spend all day. So like Kevin and I were here for probably four hours uh, doing what we did. But now if you wanted to, to spend a whole like 10 hour day, uh, you probably could without any problem at all because uh, they also have a pet section. We never walked in the pet section. I saw some of it, but we never looked around. This is the um, sugar-free section. Kevin, you know these mints that you like to suck on? They're only $1.79 a bag. Okay, okay. This is like the birthday section if you want to do like a special color or something yeah. like that. White yeah, white jelly bellies. And then here's the Sour Patch Kids, which I actually would love this section. Candy cigarettes. You don't call them cigarettes anymore. Okay. No, but this, when, when Kevin and I talk about candy cigarettes, if you're in another country, this is what we're talking about. This is the candy cigarettes. So they have, um, I, I don't know if I mentioned, I did mention it. They do have an international uh, produce section. And in just a second, I'm going to show you the produce. And that's why I'm talking about it now. Because I didn't realize when we were there, I knew they had produce. And I thought, okay, they have produce. Every place has produce. I did not realize when we were there that this was actually international produce. So like... You can see we're just, this is a shortcut for us. We're cutting through here. We're really not paying attention to any of this produce because that's not what we review on the channel. Uh, we have before though, we have reviewed produce in the past, um, but uh, I did not realize that that was international produce and I probably could have gotten some really cool produce to try if i had just looked at any of the names so maybe next time we go uh that'll be a section i'll have to pay more attention to so here is their they have a freezer section over here uh, but they also have like butter and cheese and stuff like that over here um let's see they have a brand called dutch farms i've never heard of dutch farms so they have good old days, peach cobbler, apple cobbler, blackberry cobbler. They have a Dutch Farms breakfast bowls. So I haven't been filming hardly at all in the frozen stuff because Kevin had to go get another buggy. We filled up a buggy. Uh, they have this car on the wall, I didn't show you. But we filled up one buggy. He had to go get another buggy. They've got a whole section of just alcohol, which we never even look at because we don't drink alcohol, really, not a lot. Um, only for reviews, but they have all of these ice creams, tons of ice creams that we don't get, but a lot of them are not sealed as well. So uh, we only want to get the, um, the ones that are sealed. So I wish so much that I could have filmed the toys for you, but we did not have time because we got a bunch of frozen stuff. Kevin has this buggy, and then I have a whole other buggy here. So we have two buggies, uh, but they have a toy section that you all would die. It's just awesome. So hopefully you'll get to see it at some point. Maybe I filmed it before, I just don't remember. So it is a blustery, <laughs> it's a cold blustery day. Um. Anyway, we spent seven. 64 yeah. 764.89 at Jungle Gems, which honestly is not the worst we've spent before. It's oh, I, no, that's, not bad. that's not bad. I know it sounds horrible, but it's really not bad. But I was, I tried to be careful, honestly, with what I got. I didn't, um, I didn't get as much as I could get because to in order we have to get views on these videos and some people just some videos just do not get a lot of views it's and rude. so it really rude. depends um it it you know it just depends on what the name brand is you know if we get something with oreo on it then people usually want to watch it 
if we get something that nobody knows what it is, well, then they're not going to want to watch that. So, I have to be pickier. I've learned what I buy. Or I'm never, ever, ever in a million years going to get that money back. <laughs> so, uh, that's what we spent. So, at least the sun is shining. You got to take my coat off. Are you? Well, you've got to drive all the way home. My battery died. So now we have to make our way home. I wish so much that I had remembered. There was a whole, like, Funko section. I could probably have at least, at least another half hour's worth of video if I had remembered. But instead, I did not remember. And I thought we had been through every place that I wanted to go. And so we went and got all these little ice cream bars and stuff that are very delicate. At the next light, turn left. Um, you have to get these uh, ice cream bars. Uh, you have to keep them frozen, of course. And so, you know, it takes a little while to check out. It takes a little while to get stuff into your car and all that. So, um, anyway, next time we come, I'll have to try to remember to film over there because... There was just so much stuff. There was Minecraft stuff, Stranger Things stuff. Oh, it was just everything. So these two clips you're going to see are from an app called Marco. I took these on my phone. I sent this Marco to Ashley. And these are those furry bones that I showed you earlier in the video. This is in that collectible section. And then this is a Marco that I sent to Gavin. And I know it's blurry, but it's because the video is from that Marco app. And of course, when you film on it, you're filming your phone is up and down. That's It's not in landscape. Uh, but this was a whole Stranger Things section uh, that I sent to Gavin. And these were just two little bitty uh, parts of that whole collectible section. Because they had, look at all the Funko. So we were just down in this area where the Jungle Gym site is, and there was a Home Goods. There's an Ulta. They Kroger and Ross. They have a yeah, Kroger Ross. Um, I'm trying to point you in the general direction of where we were. Um, there's a Hobby Lobby, Burlington, Kirkland's. They have all kinds of stuff over there. So this is the side where we saw coming into Ohio and now we're coming into Kentucky. So I figured you might enjoy uh, if when we got home, I set the camera up and we were just, this is, if you watch the grocery haul that was right before this video, uh, we did it in sections. We filmed all the frozen and cold stuff. Then we filmed all the drinks and then we filmed all the regular foods. So this is just me. Uh, I had the camera set up while I'm setting up the frozen stuff, and then I forgot to show you uh, the rest of the stuff, us getting it out. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we had an awesome time going to Jungle Gems. It was so much fun. I can't wait until we go back again, but first we have to get through all this food. So please watch the videos give us a thumbs up subscribe uh, but we really appreciate you being here